Give us Friday, caregivers Friday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I pray that you are having a blessed day today. We are so glad that you could be with us and we are just excited about what God is doing. Amen, amen, amen. So just in case you're new here, this is your girl, No Longer Bound, and you can subscribe to our channel at youtube.com forward slash Esther, E-S-T-H-E-R-P-I-N-K-S-T-O-N. Yes, you know already that I'm your dancer's teacher at the Ark of Jesus Ministries, 1000 Wet Road North, Rochester, New York, 14609, under the dynamic leadership of Bishop David J. Singleton, also gospel vocalist with the Acoma Choir, A-K-O-M-A dot org. You can go out there and be a blessing to us. Scholarship Choir, just go out and check us out at the website. Be a blessing. Guitars, keyboards, and of course, you already know, recording artists no longer bound. Yes, yes, yes. And if you want our CD, just inbox me on YouTube.com. And we'll tell you how to get it. Also, YouTube content creator. And we create our content by doing book reviews, okay? As well as other things, amen? But today is the day for caregivers. Caregivers. So I'm going to ask you to go get your book. And the uh, book that we are using is Prayers of Hope for the Caregiver. And uh, just in case... You're, you're, I want you to see my shirt, so you're going to see me move. Today is All right, that says Kiss Cancer Goodbye. Yes, yes, yes. Even though we have COVID right now, who is running rampant over everything we also know that there's other things out there okay and we know that there's cancer out there and there's other things and i have to buy this shirt a while ago and uh, i said i'm gonna put it on today kiss cancer goodbye yes 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 okay so caregivers you know you don't have much time so let's get right into our lesson so it says our topic today from our author when your faith is gone, hmm? where is your faith? Where is God? Where is God? So I said, well, how can you ask that question, where is God? Well, I won't go into myself. I'll just go straight to the author. Then we'll come back later with the tangent, okay? So, for those who have lost their hope in God, don't all you righteous people be so judgmental. Who can lose their hope in God? You're not. Let's stop being so lit. Let, let's stop being so jump on everybody as soon as something come out of their mouth. Amen. I just received a corrective um, comment from one of my old college professors. I had posted something and I thought I researched it. And she researched it. She said it wasn't correct. I didn't get lit. I just took it down. We don't want to be so lit and jump on people. That's not God's way. Let's not do that. So, if, so, so, so it says here, for those who have lost their hope in God, my, let's go, here's a scripture. My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, where is your God? Mm. Psalms 42.3, where is your God? Where is this God that you talk about? Well, let's see, Jesus replied, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say 
to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the seed, and it will obey you. Luke 17, 6. Where is your God? Have you found yourself asking that question? Whether you're a new believer or you've gone to church your whole life watching someone else's pain test what you know about your Savior? Perhaps you question why he would allow this to happen or why he won't do anything to fix it? Or put a pen there. When I woke up this morning, I was... I was look, looking and listening and reading about so much of the things that are going on in the world today and things that are happening with people of color. And I was like, oh, God. And I, I, where, where are you? Where is your God? Well, back to the text. Verses such as Luke 17, 6 may be quoted to you, but deep inside, you don't believe them. You've been clinging to your faith, but you haven't seen any trees move. It's as if God has abandoned the premises and left you to do the heavy lifting yourself. Dear friend, you may barely be holding on to your faith. But know that the Lord is still here. Hallelujah. When you seek his will, he promises to provide what you need. It may look different than what you want. But he's faithful to move on your behalf. Even if Everything else hmm, in this world disappoints. God longs to draw you close to himself in relationship. He always presents. He's always present. He's always here. He always comes through. It says he all, he's always present ready to take your mustard seed faith and grow new life within you. The question is, will we turn to him now? Will we? With all that's going on, there's the cancer, there's the COVID, there's the dialysis, there's the pneumonia, there's the death, there's the, it's just on and on and on. There's everything, there's, there's, it's just so much, so overwhelming. We need help. We need the Lord. Will we turn to him now? Will we? Hmm? Will we turn to him now? Or will we be bound by just allowing our own personal beliefs? Will we be bound by being lit? It ain't gonna work. Let's get angry at it. Angry at God, and angry at the world, angry at each other, and angry at everybody. Nobody cares. And what are we going to do? Will we turn to Him now? He's here. He hasn't gone any place. He's not leaving us. He's not. He's never left. He said, "I will never leave you, nor forsake you." He said, "I will always be with you." Not only will I be with you, but I will be in you. Here 
caregivers don't give up. Caregivers don't throw in the towel. Caregivers be encouraged. Just know that you can only do so much. Hmm? You can only do so much. So, I wrote a song. And it simply says, we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Caregivers, we need the Lord. Let us pray. Dear Lord, it seems weird talking to a God I don't trust but here I am the situation is so bleak that it's hard to see any sign of your presence whether it's the pain of watching my care recipient suffer, suffer or exhaustion from everything required of me I find myself questioning if you care. It's as if every ounce of faith has been squeezed out of me until I uh, uh, until there's no drops left. While part of me wants to hold on to my hurt, I also recognize I can't dwell here. I may be trapped in this situation but I don't have to live in bitterness and defeat. When they threaten to consume me, would you turn my gaze to you? Give me courage to come to you whenever I doubt to be honest rather than trying to hide. I know you hear my thoughts, so I bring each one to you. As I grapple with questions of faith, Please guide me to the right resources and people who can help. The world offers a million answers, but the only source of truth is your word. Help me to seek my answers in scripture and, 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 and filter advice through your lens. Although I struggle to see you working, I want to be filled with hope again. I pray for a glimpse of your presence so I can see you moving here and now I, I choose to trust you even when I don't understand I choose to trust you even when I don't understand I choose to trust you even when I don't understand and I ask you to grow the seed of faith within me in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name God bless you. God bless you. God bless you every caregiver. God bless you today. As you care for your mom. As you care for your husband. You care for your child. You care for your recipient. Whoever, whomever they may be. God bless you. Don't give up. Know that God is here. Know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. Know that you can only do so much. And know that we, we, listen, we cannot dictate to God who he will heal, who he will raise up, when he will heal them, when he will raise them up, how he will heal them, how he will raise them up. We can't dictate that. But we can believe, we can trust, we can keep walking expectancy, hope, knowing that our God is real, our God is not a man, he will not lie, he will hold to his word, so let's not put him in a box, let's not say you're not moving like I want you to move. You're not moving when I want you to move. You're not doing this like I want you to do it. No, let's do our part. Let's stand in faith. Let's stand on his word. Let's trust him. Let's take care of that person. And let's pray with, over that person. 
as we care for them. Let's do our part and let's trust God to do his part, however he sees fit. God bless you. I love you. This is your girl, No Longer Vile. We will see you next time.